I finally got around to framing my artwork from Indy Ridge Boots. This original painting is from world-renowned graffiti artist Kelly Risk Gravel. Some of you may have seen one of my previous videos where I had some fun unveiling the new Risk Boot and artwork in my own twisted way. If you haven't seen the video, you just gotta watch it for a good laugh, if nothing else. So what's the background story on this artwork? Well, the CEO of Indy Ridge, Steve Loria, commissioned Risk to design a boot box that could be used to promote their new Risky Boot, a collaboration of boot design between Indy Ridge and Risky. Steven envisioned that Risk would personalize each box by maybe autographing the inside of each box lid. But instead of just signing the lids, Risk decided to design and individually paint the inside of the 300 boot box lids. 300 original hand-painted works of graffiti art. Steve didn't know I was gonna make original pieces at all. Uh, I don't know, I knew. When I started painting the boxes, I just kind of got carried away and I kept going and going and going. And I was just like, look, you know, once I did fucking 30 of them, I was like, what, well, gotta keep going, you know? And then we called Steve and he was kind of, he kind of shit. Uh, yeah, I didn't see that coming. I have no idea how much these boots are gonna cost. I know the paintings are worth like, I don't know, probably 1500 to $3,000 or something. So I don't know, I think, uh, you know, you're gonna get to buy the painting and get the boot for free. So Indy Ridge suggested owners of the artwork should cut out the painted box lid panel and have it framed. I was really wanting something special to showcase this artwork. So I took Steve's idea and went to a whole nother level. First, I decided to frame the entire box lid. The folded insides of the lid had been laid flat while Risk was creating the graffiti. So in my mind, the box flaps were part of the artwork and should remain intact. Next, how to mount the three-dimensional piece. I found a shadow box deep enough to hold the artwork and used the canvas which the boots had been wrapped in as sort of a frame mat. I thought that canvas is a work of risk art as well since it had the overspray on it from when Risk was creating the box lid graffiti. My project was taking shape but still needed a little something else. So I lined the insides of the shadow box with the cards Indy Ridge includes with each order of their products and placed some of the cutout designs on the canvas mat from the now mutilated boot box. I finished it off with museum quality UV resistant glass to protect the artwork for years to come. The non-reflective glass is so clear that you can't even tell it's there. Overall, I couldn't be more pleased with how the project turned out. So what do you think? Let me know in the comments below. And while you're there, hit that like and subscribe buttons if you liked what you saw.